Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Red Hawk Baseball and Frontier Community Access Television. Today's game, the Frontier Red Hawks play host the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. Hi everyone, this is Chris Collins along with Kevin Murphy, Alec Geckel, Angela Self, and Sam Finch here at Frontier Regional School. This is no ordinary basketball, uh, basketball, yeah, baseball game. This is senior day at Frontier. We're honoring our seniors, but also this is a pivotal matchup because the winner of this game is gonna win the Hampshire County League West. Both these teams come in with identical seven and two league records, a half game ahead of Greenfield who's idle. So the winner of this game is gonna win the division and probably have a better higher seat going into the upcoming tournament. Kalen Evans, the senior hurler on the mound for Frontier, going up against a very, very powerful Hopkins lineup led by 
Noah Scanlon Dean, a center fielder who's batting cleanup. Also Brandon Tudrin and Jack Feltovic can hit the ball pretty well too. So we'll see what happens as Frontier prepares to take the field and again. This is a winner take all situation. The winner is gonna win the Western Hampshire League. Not great weather conditions, but then again, this spring has not exactly been a great weather spring, but we are here, a little bit of rain falling, but we'll see if that affects things. I know that when it gets wet like this, it can affect a lot of things, including how the ball travels. Brandon Tudrin, the right fielder for Hopkins, steps in, and we are ready to play ball from Frontier Regional School. Evans on the hill. Strike one, just at the knees. 0-1, the count. Evans kicks and deals again. Almost the same spot, so he gets ahead of Tudrin. 0-2. That one in the dirt. Makes the count one and two. And Tudrin fouls it off to stay alive. Keeping the count at one and two. Evans and Garrett DeForest, the battery for Frontier. And he's got him looking, strike three. So Tudrin goes down on strikes. That's just the way Kalen Evans wanted to start the game. One out. And the batter will be Koji Ishida, the left fielder for Hopkins. Again, right at the knees. Evans has definitely got that spot picked today. Owen won the count to Koji. Ground ball to second base. Bobble, throw, and he's in there. So a quick bobble at second by Kyle Barnes, and Ishida is aboard. They call that, we'll call that an infield single. So a runner at first, Kishida, and the batter is going to be Jack Feltovic, the shortstop. We'll see if Ashida decides to test the arm of Garrick DeForest here early going. So one aboard for the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. Evans working from the stretch. The pitch strike again at the knees, 0-1. Quick move to first. Freeman applies the tag as Ashita gets back safely. Ashita hey, gets a good lead off first. And Kalen steps off the rubber. As Feltovic steps out of the box. Ashida's going, strike, throw to second, and Ashida's in there safely. So Koji Ashida is in scoring position, and it's two strikes quickly on Jack Feltovic, the shortstop. Ashida leads off second. And Feltovic is able to Protect the plate and foul that one back. Keeping the count at two strikes. Evans deals. That one's in the dirt. Sheeta thinks about trying for third, but pulls back. Not even as a count at two apiece. Ground ball to short. 
Base hit. The sheet that comes around and he is going to score. Oh, play at the plate. And he's in there. Oh, and Garrett DeForest thinks he got him, but Ashita was able to evade that tag. And it's going to be a single for Feltovic, take second on the throw. And just like that, it's 1 0. Golden Hawks. The batter is going to be Noah Scanlon Dean, the center fielder. Again, Feltovic is at second base. Evans looks back the runner and fires. Strike. Swinging. That was right down the pipe. Nothing in one to Noah Scanlon Dean. Strike two. So Evans quickly ahead on Scanlon Dean. 0 oh 2. One out, and again, 1 0. Hopkins Academy. Evans, high ball one. One and two. That one's outside, even the count at two and two. Ground ball, knocked down at short, and there's no play at first. That's going to be an infield single for Noah Scanlon Dean. So two runners aboard. Bowen did a good job to even get to that ball and stop it. So no runners advance. So runners at first and second, and the batter is going to be the catcher, Liam Higgins. So Hopkins has an early rally going here, first inning. And this winner-take-all championship matchup. High for ball one. Again, one out, two on. Just inside, 2-0. and oh. So quickly, Liam Higgins is ahead on the count. Again, Feltovic at second, Scanlon Dean at first. And the pitch. Inside, ball three. So quickly, after having pretty good control on the first couple of batters, Kalen Evans has now gone out 3-0 and oh on Liam Higgins. And strike as Higgins was not taken that time. Good pitch by Evans. Right at the letters. Three and one. Right down the pipe. The count goes full three and two. Oh, and he got him looking. As Higgins got fooled on that one, so he goes down on strikes. And that makes it two out. And the batter will be Matt Hanscom, the second baseman. Strike right down the pipe. Evans has his fastball working today, working off the stretch. Runners at first and second. And the pitch. Ground ball to short. And Bauman is going to flip it to the second baseman. Barnes to retire the side. One run on two hits and two left on. We go to the bottom of the first. Hopkins one. Frontier coming up. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we go to the bottom of the first inning. It'll be Connor Wakus, the center fielder, leading off for the Red Hawks. It'll be Connor Wakus, Brian Bauman, Kiernan Freeman, Corbin Blight, the DH, 
Jacob Bryant, Matt Hildreth, Kalen Evans, Garrett DeForest, and Kyle Barnes, the nine in the lineup for the Red Hawks, who trail one to nothing in the bottom of the first. Andrew Siaglo on the hill for the Hopkins Academy Hawks. Siaglo winds and deals, low for ball one. Ground ball foul, that evens the count at one and one. Thea Hanscom is playing third base for Hopkins. A rare to have a girl on a baseball team, but Hanscom, from what I've told, is a pretty darn good pitcher too. Very good athlete, so you might actually see her on the mound at some point today, depending on what happens. <laughs> Siagla winds and fires, high for ball two. Makes the count two and one to Connor Wakus. And ooh, we got a hold of that one, but just out in front of it, nearly hit the third base coach. And he the count at two balls and two strikes to Wakis. A dangerous corner. Wind is becoming a factor. And strike three as Wakis goes down swinging. One out. That brings up the shortstop, Brian Bauman. Gonna miss seeing Brian Bauman on the ice. Last couple seasons were outstanding for Brian Bauman. Part of that Greenfield High School cooperative hockey team. Bauman, one of the seniors on this team, one of the leaders of this team. Siagla deals at the knees, called strike one. Bauman has good speed, but also could be a deep threat. Curveball, and he laces it in the left field for a base hit. Bauman was not fooled on that hook. And Brian's aboard with a single. And the batter will be Kiernan Freeman. Last time we were here doing a game, Kiernan Freeman walked it off as Frontier beat Greenfield in that thriller in the tournament last year. Freeman's the first baseman, he's a lefty. So Bauman leads off, first base, Siagla. Working from the stretch. Nips the outside corner, 0-1. Anytime there's a Hopkins Academy team, you're likely to hear the name Siaglo mentioned. That family has a tremendous, tremendous tradition in Hadley sports. Siaglo throws back to first. Andrew Siaglo is a pretty good basketball player, too. A three-point shooting threat for the Golden Hawks. Bauman gets a big lead off first. And now Seattle steps off the rubber. Bauman's trying to get into Andrew's head a little bit here. With that lead. Seattle from the stretch. And ground ball to second. And it goes through the legs of the second baseman. That's a base hit. Bauman on the way to third. So runners at the corners for the Red Hawks as Kiernan Freeman with a single. I'm not sure if they're gonna score that in error on the second baseman, Matt Hanscom. And the batter is gonna be Corbin Blight, the designated hitter. So right now, Frontier, nobody out. Actually, you one out, and they've got a little bit of a rally going here. I'll tell you, Sadler wants to be very careful with Corbin Blight. He could quickly turn this into a 3-1 game with one swing of the bat. Freeman leads off first. Bowman off third. And the pitch. Freeman goes. So Freeman takes second base. So now we've got two runners in scoring position for the Red Hawks. And the count is 0-1 to Corbin Blight. Blight's the DH. And Renault is playing center field and not batting in this game. Siagla from the stretch. And the pitch. And a line drive. Hits the hit the turf first. 
And Bauman's going to score. Freeman's going to take third. We're tied at one, and it's a single for Corbin Blight. That ties the score at one apiece. And the batter will be Jake Bryant. Bryant, the left fielder. A power threat for sure. Runners at the corners. One down. And White's going to take second base on that pitch. So runners at second and third. One strike on Jake Bryant. It's going to be a big inning if things break right for the Hawks. Asiaglo is going to abandon the stretch and go from the windup. He steps off the rubber. Jake would love to get a hold of one here. Freeman dances off third. Curveball, whoa, a little bit of chin music there. It looked like that ball might have gotten away from uh, Siakra. I wasn't trying to hit Brian. I think he just tried to throw that hook and might have been a bit wet on that ball. Siakra deals in the dirt. So Brian ahead of the count right now. Got two ducks on the pond. And a line drive, base hit to let right field. That's going to score two. Two run score. RBI, two run RBI. Single for Jacob Bryant, and it's three to one. Pitch was a little bit outside, and Brian just went with it to right field. The batter now is Matty Hildreth, the third baseman. Just like that, the Hawks doing some damage in the first inning. Brian dancing off first. Siago on the stretch. Strike one. Right down the pipe. Tough strike zone. Matty Hildreth, not the tallest kid in the world. Bryant leads off first. The train's coming through. The pitch. Low, ball one. That evens the count at one apiece. I'll tell you, I'm still not quite used to that train. I know it's exciting, but... Still not used to the idea of a train flying through here a couple times a day. Siaglo from the stretch, looking back at Bryant, leading off first. And Bryant's going to go. The pitch is outside, and he's going to take second base without a throw. So a stolen base for Jacob Bryant. And another runner in scoring position for the Red Hawks. We're putting together a pretty good first inning rally. Two and one to Hildreth. Hildreth fouled that one off the lid on that swing. Again, Frontier leads three to one. On a two RBI single by Jacob Bryant. He's brought home Blight and Freeman. And Freeman knocked in Bauman. Pickoff play to first, second, he got it. So Bryant caught off second base. And that makes it two outs. So a nice move right there by Siaglo to pick off Bryant, who just got caught. Base is clear. Curveball fouled off. Hey, Siaglo has a nasty curve. He's throwing that hook a couple of times. And one time, Frontier batter got a hold of it, but that time, Hildreth was just able to protect the plane enough to foul it off. High, ball three. Yeah. 
the, will spring ever get here is the question. It's getting pretty cold out here right now. For, for May, it's ridiculously cold. And it's a walk. So Hildreth is on with the base on balls. And the batter will be the pitcher. Kalen Evans. Looking to help his own cause. And trying to extend this lead. Two outs, Hildreth leading off first. My guess is Maddie could get a threat to run, and that's exactly why Seattle was going to throw him back and keep him honest. Throws him back again. I don't know what that red thing is on Hildreth's arm. Hmm? It's a sleeve. Okay, it looks like it's like red tape. And Hildreth is going to run. Foul off as the hit and run was on. Hildreth's going to run again. The throw, and Hildreth's going to get there safely. That's the third stolen base in the inning for the Red Hawks, who definitely came to run today. And that puts Matty Hildreth in the scoring position. That's a ball to Evans. He's behind you! He's behind you! Not doing anything! Not doing anything! And a pop-up. This is going to be out of play. Hildreth leading off second. Good Frontier leads three to one, bottom of the first. Again, curveball in the dirt. First, Siagla from the stretch, the pitch. High outside, so Evans walks. So that's two consecutive walks for Siagla. Runners at first and second, and the batter will be Garrett DeForest, the catcher. So the inning continues with two outs. Siagla having a bit of a control problem right now, it seems. From the stretch, and the pitch. Strike swinging. The forest is out in front of that one. Oh, and look at Hildreth took advantage of the slow throw back to the play, uh, mound and took third, Johnny, on the spot, Matty Hildreth. So now runners at the corners for Frontier. 0-1 oh, to the forest. Evans is going. He'll take second without a throw. So Kalen Evans moves up a bag. That's the fifth stolen base this inning. So runners at second and third for DeForest, who's even the count at one apiece. Siagla from the windup. And DeForest hits a high fly ball to center field. And it's pulled in by Noah Scanlon Dean to retire the side. But the Hawks put three across the plate. And at the end of one, it's Frontier three, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Frontier Regional School, second inning. It'll be Aiden McCulloch, Thea Hanscom, and Andrew Siaglo, the batters for the Hopkins Academy Hawks, trailing three to one. 
Big first inning there for the Red Hawks as they put three runners across the plate and they steal five bases. A couple of hits, a couple of RBIs for Jacob Bryant. Now back on the hill, Caleb Evans with the lead. Just outside, ball one. McCallick is the first baseman for Hopkins. Again, these teams tied for first right now in the Hampshire West. The winner of this game wins the league championship. Foul back, evens the count at one apiece. Right down the pipe, one and two. The count on Aiden McCulloch. That one's a little bit low. It evens the count at two balls and two strikes. And McCulloch just got a piece of that one, fouled it off to stay alive. Keeps the count at two apiece. Ooh, just missed low. That was a good pitch, but count now is full. Three and two. And he walked him. So McCulloch held off on that low fastball, and the batter will be Thea Hanscom. Playing third base today. And looks like the bunt was on, but she fouled it back. 0-1. Oh and she gets the bunt down. Evans is going to go to first. So the sacrifice moves McCulloch over. One out, and the pitcher, Andrew Siaglo, will come to the plate with a runner in scoring position. Hopkins played a bit of small ball there. Good bunt by Hanscom. Got the runner over, so McCulloch is at second. So a battle of pitcher against pitcher here. Evans. Low for ball one. McCulloch made it like he was going to run for third, but did not go. Foul that one off. He gets the count at one apiece. Pitch at the knees, call for a strike, one and two. And that one's low. He needs to count at two apiece. Fouled off by Siaglo. Keeps the count at two balls, two strikes. If I get hit with the foul ball, Murphy, I'm going to blame you. Just outside, evens the count at three balls and two strikes. Again, McCulloch, the runner at second, courtesy of the sacrifice bunt by Thea Hanscom. We'll see if Evans can. Work his magic here. And a pop-up, high pop-up. Freeman back on the grass, and he pulls it. Oh, he dropped it! Was he in, was it, was he in fair territory is the question, apparently. He was. That's going to be an E3. One out. Hard second. We got to be down, right? 
So an error charge to Kieran Freeman. So Siagla reaches. McCulloch at second, and the batter is going to be Braden, Brandon Tudor, rather, who struck out looking his first time up. Nice pitch on the outside corner, called strike, 0-1. Tudrin fouled that one off. And quickly, the count is 0-2. Siaglo at first, McCulloch at second. Pop up, out of play. Keeps the count at 0-2. Curveball. Tudrin got a piece of it to stay alive. That was a nasty breaking ball. And Tudrin got a hold of that one. Fly ball, center field, and they make the catch. And they bring the ball in. Nice work out in center field by the frontier center fielder. And it is one out, actually two outs, excuse me. And the batter will be Kuji Ishida. Singled, stole a base, and scored the lone run for Hopkins. Quick conference at the mound. Evans working from the stretch. Runners at first and second for Hopkins. And first pitch swinging Ishida. Fly ball to center field. Renault pulls it in to retire the side. So no damage done. Two runners left on at the end of one and a half. Frontier three, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ service, voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. So we go to the bottom of the second inning and the batter is going to be Kyle Barnes. Barnes, Wakus, and Bauman do up for the Frontier Red Hawks, leading three to one. Again, this winner take all game, which will decide the Hampshire County League West champions. Andrew Siaglo on the hill for Hopkins. Barnes, second baseman, a lefty hitter, digs in. 
Low pitch, strike one. Right at the knees. Nothing in one to Barnes. Curveball, and they laced it foul. Was, was it fair? fair? fair, fair. Oh, it was in fair territory. Excuse me, I thought it was foul, but nope. It's going to be a double for Kyle Barnes. He just, just caught the line. So Barnes is aboard at second. And Connor Wakis, who struck out his first time up, is the batter. Wakis first pitch swinging, fly ball to left field. And coming in and pulling it in is the center fielder, Noah Scanlon D for out number one. The batter will be Brian Bauman. Singled and scored a run in the first inning. Outside for ball one. Barnes is halfway down the line. Just daring. Hagan to try and throw him out. One ball, no strikes. Quick move again by Siagla. He's got a good move to second base. He already picked one guy off with that. Didn't get Barnes that time, though. With the stretch, Siaglo. And the pitch skips off the mitt of Higgins and going to third on the pass ball is Barnes. Now Barnes is at third. Two and nothing to count to Bauman. Chance here for Frontier to extend the lead. High. Ball three. And that one's in the dirt. Another one. So Bauman is aboard with the base on balls. So Bauman is at first. Byron's at third, and the batter is going to be the first baseman, Kiernan Freeman. Singled and scored in the first inning. Seattle from the stretch. And that one's a, in the dirt. And Barnes heads the plate. He's going to score. So Barnes scores in the pass ball. And that makes it 4-1. to one. Bowen hits the second base. Not much Higgins can do on that. That was a wild pitch. 0-1 oh to Freeman. Inside ball two. 2-0. Two and oh. And a curveball. Freeman got a piece of it. Got out in front of that one a little bit on the change. On, Two and one. Bauman leads off second. Bauman's going to go. Trying to steal third, the throw, and in the dirt. And Bauman's got himself a stolen base. So Bauman is at third. And that makes the count three and one. I'm sorry, two and two. Bauman leads off third base. 
And Freeman gets a piece of it, sends it to the backstop. Keeps the count at two apiece. Frontier leads four to one in the bottom of the second. And Kiernan goes down on strikes. Two outs, and the batter will be Corbin Blight. Blight scored. And got a hit in the first inning. Strike at the knees, 0-1. Yagla from the stretch. Bauman leads off third. Curveball just missed. Good uh, concentration by Blake to lay off that one. That was a good pitch. And a base hit to right field. That's going to score Bauman. So Cannon Freeman has a pair of hits on the day and an RBI. And that makes it five to one Frontier. That brings up Jacob Bryant, pickoff move. Blake goes back to first. Jacob Bryant at the plate. And Bryant, ground ball to short. Go to first, and Bryant is out to retire the side. The Frontier get two more, and at the end of two, Red Hawks five, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we head to the top of the third inning. It'll be Jack Feltovic, Noah Scanlon Dean, and Liam Higgins. The batters for the Hopkins Academy Hawks, who are in a bit of a hole. They trail five to one in this showdown championship match. Feltovic reached second. His last time up. And he pops this one straight up. DeForest goes back, trying to make a play on it, and he gets it. So, Goltovic flies out to the catcher. One down for Noah Scanlon Dean, who had a single in the first inning. Evans winds and fires. And first ball swinging. Scanlon Dean fouls it back out of play. Strike one. And he fouls back again. That makes count 0 and 2. Just missed low. One and two. Evans wanted that one, I think. One and two to the center fielder, Noah Scanlon Dean. High for ball two. That evens the count at two apiece. Low, ball three. So after going ahead on an 0-2 count, Evans has run the count full. 
on Scanlon Bean. And he pops it up. And it's going to be foul. And just out of play. You go through a lot of baseball today, I think. The muddy conditions. And Scanlon Dean toes that one to center field. What a play! Kyle Barnes, what a catch! As he leaped and made a great play just over second base. And that brings up Liam Higgins with two outs. So some defense there by Kyle Burns to keep Hopkins off the base paths. Ground ball to second. Gobbled up, thrown to first by Barnes. And a 1-2-3 inning for Caleb Evans to the Frontier Red Hawks. Go to the bottom of the third. Red Hawks five, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We're heading out to the bottom of the third inning. It's going to be Hildreth, Evans, and DeForest. The batters for the Frontier Red Hawks. With a comfortable 5 to 1 lead. Andrew Siaglo still on the bump for the Golden Hawks. Hildreth walked and made it to third. His first time up. Ground ball in the hole to short. Gobble up, throw to first. And again, oh, he's made it. That, that was close, but it'll be a infield single for Matt Hildreth to open the home half of the third. Batter will be Kalen Evans. He walked. A minute to second his first time up. Hildreth leads off first. Quick move back by Siaglo. Hildreth, the threat to run, stole a base in that first inning. Evans was showing bunt, pickoff play to first, not in time. Hildreth leads off first. Pitch, Evans up front of it a little bit, fouls that one down the third baseline. from the stretch. The pitch. Hildreth is running on the play. And he'll make it in standing. So Hildreth with his second stolen base of the day. He moves into scoring position. One and two the count on Evans. Curve ball again. Evans out in front of it. Do a good job to protect the plate. Keeps the count one and two. Evans protects the plate, fouls it off. Keeps the count one and two. And a 
again. Salah makes the motion back to second. Hildreth reads it and gets back to the bag. And Evans swings and misses at a high fastball. Strike three. One down. And the batter will be Garrett DeForest, the catcher for Frontier. Hildreth again, the runner at second. That's quite the orange bat that DeForest is sporting at the plate. See, I think from a mile away. And foul ball. DeForest got a piece of it. And also got a piece of the catcher's mask. 0 1 the count. Off play just back in time is Barnes. I think that Seattle has a better pick off play the second than he does the first. Got one guy today already with that and almost got Barnes that time. Ball very high. Leads off second. And the pitch. Big cut and a miss by DeForest. And Siago is ahead on the count. Curve ball. DeForest does not bite on that. That evens the count, two and two. Round ball back to the pitcher. And Siakma will go to first. One to three. And going to third base on the throw is Hildreth. So two down. The batter will be Kyle Barnes. Barnes doubled and scored his last time up. Just outside, ball one. I don't think Seattle is getting many calls in the corners. I don't think he's too happy about that. Working for the stretch again. High ball two. Two and oh to Kyle Barnes. Made a great defensive play in the last inning. To keep Hopkins off the base paths. Strike one. Leads the count to two and one. Just inside, three and one the count. Barnes fouls it back, stays alive. Ground ball to second, gobbled up. The 
throw to first. And that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, one left on. At the end of three, it's Frontier 5, Hopkins 1. This is Red Hawk Baseball, Frontier Community Access Television. Now we head to the top of the fourth, and the batters will be Higgins, Hanscom, Matt Hanscom, and Aiden McCulloch for the Hopkins Academy Hawks. Higgins struck out looking his first time up. Actually, we have a, we have a pinch hitter here, it looks like. And line drive to shortstop and caught. That was Chris. Chris Mashinsky was batting for Higgins, and the batter now is Hanska. That's McCulloch. Ground ball. Six to three. So McCulloch is down, and the batter will be Thea Hanscom. Thea sacrifice bunted her first time up. Ball to third, gobbled up, thrown to first, and another one, two, three inning. So, Kalen Evans has retired the last six batters, but go to the bottom of the fourth. Frontier five, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted Best Mobile Disc Jockey in the Valley for six years running. Book your next party now at bobbycdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. We're heading out to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be the top of the order for the Frontier Red Hawks. Connor Wakekiss, Brian Bauman, and Karen and Freeman. The three for Frontier. Wakekiss struck out his first time up and flied out to the center fielder. So he's due. Siaglo on the hill still for Hopkins. Strike one down the pipe. Nothing in one to Wakis. Curveball high. And he the count at one apiece. Two and one. Was that a strike? I'm sorry. One and two. That's high and evens the count at two balls, two strikes. Two 
And a short fly ball gobbled up in the outfield by the second baseman. And it's one out. And the batter will be Brian Bauman. Bauman has singled and walked and has scored two runs in this game. Right down the middle, strike one. That's high for ball one. He uses the count at one apiece. Fouls it off and makes the count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And Bauman strikes out, swinging. So two up, two down. And the batter will be Karen and Freeman. Freeman is one for one, or one for two rather in this game. High ball one. Freeman has scored one of Frontier's five runs today. Ball two in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Quickly, Freeman's ahead 3-0 and on Siaglo. Let's see if he has the green light here. Siaglo's going to have to groove him. That's down the middle. 3-1 and one the count. To Kieran and Freeman. Just inside. Oh, Freeman thought he had a base on balls there, but just clipped the corner. And the count runs full three and two. And high ball four, so Freeman is aboard. With a two out walk. And that brings up the cleanup hitter, Corbin Blight, who is two for two and has scored a run in this game. Freeman leads off first, gets sent back on a pickoff attempt by Siaglo. Just keeping him honest. Low ball one. Frontier would love to put a couple more runs on the board here and get some insurance. And that was a deep fly ball to left field. This is going to be out there. That's going to score at least one run. Oh, no. Freeman fell down going around third. Tough break for Frontier as Freeman was off to the races. He fell around third. So he will hold up. And hopefully he didn't hurt himself. He went down hard there, but that's going to be a big double for Corbin Blight. So Frontier has runners at second and third. He got all of that one. And the batter is going to be Jacob Bryan. Bryan singled and has been picked off second and has flown out. Actually grounded out his last time up. Ball one high. 
And Blake got all of that fastball by Siaglo. Bryant liked that pitch. Fouled it off. He was thinking, he was thinking deep cut as well. Got some pop in this lineup. So Frontier could blow it open here with one single. Curveball just misses. Another big cut by Bryant. Foul back. Two strikes now on the big man. Two runs. Freeman's home. Blight's home. And it's seven to one. Frontier. They score that at E6. And the batter is going to be Matty Hildreth as the Hawks get two unearned runs there. And it is seven to one. Pickoff play. Ryan is back. Sadlo got him last time. He was at the first inning. Picked him off second base. And Bryant's going to run, and he is going to be out. Bryant cut down stealing. And that will do it in the fourth inning. He played four from Frontier Regional School at the end of four. The Red Hawks seven. And the Golden Hawks one. This is Red Hawks baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the fifth. Andrew Siaglo, Brandon Tudrin, and Kuji Ishida. The three scheduled batters for Hopkins Academy in a big hole right now, trailing seven to one. And again, the winner of this game wins the Hampshire County League West. So Hopkins Academy is nine outs away from a league title. Kalen Evans pitched a pretty good game for himself today. Evans winds and deals. Strike one. Frontiers retired the last six batters. He go. He did. 0 and 2 is the count. Strike three. Swing. Or actually, looking. So Siago just got handcuffed there. One out. That's seven batters in a row retired. Brandon Tudrin now. Wide out to center field his last time up. Strike one. As Kalen Evans has gotten into a groove the last couple innings. Some good defense, good pitching. That one's high for ball one. One and one the count. Foul back. Makes the count one and two. Ball on the dirt. Evens the count at two balls, two strikes. Right, 
And that one is just low, so now the count runs full. Three balls, two strikes to Brandon Tudrin. Fly ball, deep right field, and foul. So Tudrin, that's the best cut he's had in this game today. And just foul. Full count to Tudrin. Evans strikes him out. So Evans has struck out his last two batters, and the batter is Koji Ishida. And he foul. He actually flied out to center field last time up, and has scored the only run for Hopkins in this game. Inside for strike one. Round ball to short. Bauman gobbles it up, fires to first, and another one, two, three inning. Frontier has retired the last nine batters. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Frontier seven, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball, Frontier Community Access Tunnel. We head now to the bottom of the fifth inning. And Matt Hildreth back up. Hildreth was at the plate when Bryant was cut down stealing last time up. And Hildreth has walked and has singled in this game and stolen a couple of bases. Hildreth, Evans, and DeForest, the scheduled batters for Frontier. Pop up. And, and the catcher pulls it in for Hopkins for out number one. One out, and Kalen Evans comes to the plate. Evans has struck out and has walked. Got as far as second base, but he's done a great job on the mound, retiring the last nine Hopkins batters he's faced. Strike at the knees by Siagua, 0-1. Evans out in front of that one. Got it. Hanscom, a great play, throws to first, but Evans beats the throw. So Evans has an infield single. And the batter will be Garrett DeForest, his battery mate. DeForest ground out to the pitcher his last time up. And a bunt as Evans is down to second. DeForest out at first, and now they got Evans. They had Evans in a rundown, but he gets back to second. Oh, they got it! Oh, I don't know about that. That it looked like he made it back, but they're going to call him out. So that's going to be the end of the inning. So controversy as Evans gets nailed, kind of trying to get back to second base on the bunt. And that's the end of the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth. Frontier seven, Hopkins one. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Now we now go to the top of the sixth inning. It's going to be Feltovic, Scanlon Dean, and Lit Higgins, the scheduled batters. Feltovic, the shortstop. Flight out to the catcher his last time up. Yeah. 
Strike one is the count the One and one the count. It's actually Feltovic, Scanlon, Dean, and Mashinsky. The hitters for Hopkins. Low for ball two, two and one. Again, Evans has retired the last nine batters for Hopkins. Just out in front of that one. Two and one the count. That evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Line drive, base hit to right field. So Hopkins, it's their first hit in nine batters as Feltovic lines the ball to right field. The batter will be Noah Scanlon Dean, the center fielder, flat out to the second baseman. Hildreth made a great, or excuse me, Barnes rather made a great play to rob him last time up. Strike one. Foul ball. That makes the count 0 and 2. Fly ball to left field, and the Bryant under it makes the catch. One out, and the batter is going to be Liam Higgins this time up. Strike one. Good job to DeForest to keep that ball in front of him. That was a little bit low. I would have won the count. Curveball. Down to Bauman. Double play. Six, four, three. And that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Frontier 7, Hopkins 1. This is Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Kyle Barnes will lead off for the Frontier Red Hawks. Barnes, Wakeus, and Bauman. The hitters for Frontier. Again, the Hawks are three Hopkins outs away from winning the Hampshire League West in a game that really was been a bit of a blowout so far for the home team. Curve ball high for ball one. Barnes grounded out the second baseman and he has scored a run in this game. High ball two. <clears throat> two and oh. Ooh, just missed on the corner. So the count runs to three and zero, oh. and it's possible Siaglo is showing some signs of tiring here. And ball four. So Barnes walks on four straight pitches. That brings up Waitkiss, and that may be all for Siaglo. As the manager coming to the mound. We may see a pitching change here. And he's pitched a tough game, but. And I'm gonna leave him in, I guess. First one, Dan. Thank you. 
Wake kiss flat out to the second baseman. Last time up. Barnes leads off first. Strike one to Connor Wakekiss, the center fielder. High ball one. One and one the count. Ooh, strike on the inside corner. One and two to count. Line drive down the left field line. Base hit. That's going to get passed. Nope, they're going to cut it off. And Barnes is going to hold it third. It's a double for Wakekiss. And runners at second and third for Bauman. Well, that was a frozen rope by Wakekiss. And that's going to do it for Siaglo. As he pitched a good game, but just coming up short. So we have a pitching change. So we'll see who's going to come in here and throw. The big center fielder comes in in relief of Andrew Siaglo. Brian Bauman will come up. Wakeus and Barnes at second and third, respectively. Bauman with a chance to further extend this already sizable 7-1 to one lead for Frontier. High ball one. Barnes dances off third base. High ball two. Two and oh to Bauman. On deck is Kiernan Freeman, first baseman. Bauman pops it up, just behind short right, and it's gonna fall in. And Barnes will score. And that makes the score eight to one. As it looked like it just caught the right fielder by surprise. So Bauman's at first, Wakus is at third, and Kiernan Freeman the batter. Eight one, Frontier. Bauman's going to run, and he'll make it to second base. Ball bounces off, and Wakus is going to score to make it 9-1 to one Frontier. So Bauman is at second base. Ball low to Freeman. Side corner by Scanlon Dean. Nobody out. 9 1 Frontier. And a line drive down the right field line is foul by Freeman. Just got out in front of that one a little bit. Rebound. 
Two and two the count. Bauman is the runner on second. Scanlon Dean steps off the rubber, now looks in, gets the sign, and pitch. Strike three on the outside corner as Freeman got frozen on that one. One down, and the batter will be Corbin Blight. The DH doubled last time up. High ball one. Ground ball to short. Gobbled up. Throw to first. Two out. Bauman ends up advancing to third. So two gone. We have a pinch hitter coming to the plate for the Hawks. Strike one. Fouled off, stays alive. High ball one. One and two to count. going to score Bauman and that's going to make the score 10 to 1 as the Hawks continue to blow it open. Look at all of that one. Matty Hildreth is the batter. Just inside, ball one. Strike on the inside corner. ball it's gonna be unplayed as Hildreth gets an in a infield hit that's gonna bring up Kalen Evans Runners at first and second for Evans. The score frontier 10 to one. Bottom of the sixth, two outs. Strike on the inside corner by Scanlon Dean, nice pitch.
Ball on the dirt. Ball low. Another ball low. And it's a walk. And that'll load the bases up. And the batter will be Garrett DeForest. Base is loaded for DeForest. And his fluorescent orange bat. <coughs> Just outside ball one. DeForest, fly ball to right field, right center field. And the catch is made to retire the side. We go to the top of the seventh. Frontier, comfortably in front, 10 to 1. This is the Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television. Top of the seventh, and Xavier Santiago, the big man, is in to try and close it out for the Hawks, who lead 10 to 1, and are three outs away from securing the Hampshire County League West Championship in this showdown game against the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks. Ball low. Santiago, 2-0. Foul back, makes the count 2-1. Santiago reminds me a little bit of C.C. Sabathia with his rhythm. Well, Sabathia is a lefty, but the body type is the same. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Curve ball, strike three. Got him on the hook. One down. And the batter will be Aiden McCulloch. So Frontier, two outs away from the title. Xavier Santiago with a nasty curve. Strike one at the knees, 0-1. Oh curve ball in the dirt, one ball, one strike. Strike two. One and two to count. The X man is dealing here in the top of the seventh. Rounder to short. Gobbled up by Barnes. Throw to first. Two outs. Frontier is one out away, and the battle will be Thea Hanscom with the Golden Hawks.
Hanscom fouls it back. Nothing in one. Curveball low. That was a great pitch, just a little bit low. Hanscom, fly ball, center field. He makes the catch and the ball game is over and the Frontier Red Hawks win the Hampshire County League West Championship, defeating the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks by a score of 10 to one. That'll do it for our coverage of today's championship contest. For Alec Echo, Sam Finch, and the executive producer, Kevin Murphy, I'm Chris Collins, the final score for the final time from Frontier. The Frontier Red Hawks 10, Hopkins Academy 1. Thanks for watching Red Hawk Baseball on Frontier Community Access Television.